Hey, Jeremy from Black Collar Arms here. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about our Pork Sword pistol, but specifically about 375 Raptor, a somewhat new cartridge that we've been doing a lot of testing on and have completely fallen in love with. We are going balls deep on 375 Raptor. It's going to be available across the board. And let me tell you a little bit about why and why I think it's the next gun, next cartridge you should build. Yeah! So here's the 375 Raptor elevator pitch. If you are looking for the big brother to 300 Blackout, a cartridge that is extremely capable for hunting or reaching way out there with supersonic full power projectiles, but also really quiet, yet very capable with subsonic projectiles, 375 Raptor is the app for that. Imagine scaling the 300 Blackout up from AR-15 size to AR-10 size, so we're using a 308 case, using all of the powder capacity of that case, but getting a lot more efficiency, a surprising amount more efficiency, by opening up that bore diameter to 375. Because of the increased airspace inside of that bore, the powder is burning much faster. In a 12-inch barrel, we can get ballistics that are just incredible. I mean, they are shockingly great. So let's say a 185 grain 308 is going 2200 feet per second. Instead of a 185 grain projectile, I'm now shooting a 230 grain projectile in 375 diameter with the same powder charge at the same velocity as the 308 heavier projectile, same velocity, and that's because that bigger bore, man, that powder burns a lot more completely. And we can actually load a faster propellant into the case and keep the pressures the same. Now, because of that big 375 caliber bullet, we can get heavyweight bullets that aren't too long. So they stabilize subsonic, no problem. 400 grain subs is going to be the standard with about 450 grain subs as the maximum. Now Sierra makes their Match King in 350 grain and this is an awesome subsonic round that you can shoot out to many hundreds of yards, let's say 400-ish yards, and maintain MOA or better accuracy. It is freaking awesome how accurate these subs are. And with 270 grain, 275 grain soft point ammo, it is devastating on deer, elk, hogs, moose, bear, 375 Raptor out of a 12 inch barrel has been used on moose and other large game in, the, in North America and around the world and it is extremely effective. You may be familiar with 375 H&H Magnum, it's been around for 100 whatever years. So 375 bullets, not only does every bullet manufacturer on the planet make an extremely capable, well-tested hunting projectile for 375, they're actually shockingly affordable the less expensive kind of standard 375 rounds are uh, 35 to 50 cents a bullet. You get into the subsonic stuff, you're going to be uh, a little bit more than that, but it's, it's shockingly affordable for a heavy, really capable hunting round. And now the super cool thing, 308 brass. You're just necking it up to 375 and that's it. You're done. Everything else is the same. We are going to do AR-10s and 375 Raptor. The only change necessary is the barrel. Same bolt, same gas tuning, everything. And again, runs in a short barrel like you wouldn't believe. This gun right here, Black Collar Arms has switched over to Bighorn Origin Actions and mostly Excalibur barrels. We're going to offer a few different barrels as well. But with that custom action and a high-end barrel, these are sub half minute guns, five shot groups at 100 yards and beyond all day long. With those really high BC hunting bullets, loaded supersonic, the range is spectacular, hunting deer, hogs, whatever, much farther than 308, maintaining far more energy downrange and accuracy. Uh, man, we're super excited about 375 Raptor, if you can't tell. There have been some attempts recently at doing like a 338 caliber round. That's also, you know, the big brother for 300 Blackout, right? Starting with a 308 case, effectively a short action projectile. And 
They want subsonic heavy bullets, supersonic lighter bullets for hunting, and it's very hard in that particular caliber because the bullets get long, really hard to stabilize those subs and not spin the supers too fast. And uh, you're limited to 300-ish something grains, about 300. Um, there's hunting supersonic rounds in 375 at 300 grains. We're gonna go up to 450 for subs. Forget the 338 caliber stuff, 375 Raptor is where it's at. It's a proven round that's been around for years. Arnie Brennan, the guy who designed and created uh, 65 Grendel and some other really well-known, awesome cartridges, is the guy who engineered 375 Raptor. So if you, like Black Color Arms, are looking for something that fills a short action and takes advantage of that size and all the powder capacity that you can put in there and will shoot a hunting load anywhere from like 195 grains, 230-ish grains is pretty standard, up to 275, 300 grains. There's a ton of projectiles in that entire range with the stuff down closer to 200 grains being a little lighter and softer shooting, the stuff up in 275 range, uh, giving you a bit more thump, but also just being so freaking effective. Um, man, this cartridge does it, and it does it well, while also giving you that really heavy subsonic projectile capability. Because obviously, if you're subsonic, you're fixed on velocity. You can't go over about 1,050 feet per second. The only way you can get more effect on target is by going with a heavier and heavier bullet. 400, 450 grains, it's going to give you the effect you want downrange while being quiet at the shooter's ear because of that great powder burn. And, uh... Being accurate too. These are slippery bullets in 375, and ah man, we just couldn't find a better cartridge. We couldn't imagine a better cartridge. And if you want to know more, go to Black Collar Arms slash 375 Raptor. We've got a bunch of information up there for you to find out more about the cartridge, why we've chosen it, why we are going so hard on it, and why you can get all of your pork sword everything in 375. So there you go, this is what a 375 Raptor looks like, loaded with a 270 grain spear soft point. Supersonic, awesome velocity from a 12 inch barrel. We will also be doing rifle builds, yes, and integrally suppressed builds, which is just awesome. This is so, so, so capable and extremely accurate. For a soft point, shooting half minute at 100 yards and beyond is incredible, and this round delivers. No voodoo, this is a 308 case necked up to .375. And it runs in a standard 308 magazine. Because it's the same case, there's just nothing to change about any of the magazines, whether you're shooting AICS or AR. On the suppressor front, 375 isn't the most popular thing to suppress. 338 a little more so. Not everyone is already going to own a can for this. We know that, which is unfortunate because, man, it suppresses so well, whether supersonic or subsonic. CGS, which makes the quietest 30 caliber rifle can on the market, hands down the Hyperion, is going to be making a version of that and has already, this is a functioning uh, prototype basically, but we're production ready, uh, for 375. So this is going to be an awesome, awesome pairing with 375 Raptor. However, there are other suppressors that are out there. Uh, Silencer Co. Hybrid 46, we've done some testing with that and it works great. Liberty Suppressors has the Goliath, that's a 458 SOCOM cam, but it's compatible. There are also ones from Bowers and a bunch of others out there that will clear a .375 projectile. Realistically, any 308 can can be bored out to 375. The gas pressure is actually slightly lower, and realistically, it's just a 308 that's shooting a 375 bullet. So as long as the bore is large enough for a .375 bullet, and the can is rated for 308, you're good to go on 375 Raptor. Pork Sword Pistol with a CGS Wizard Sleeve Suppressor, working title. FS1913 Brace from SB Tactical, and all chambered in 375 Raptor. See how she shoots. Yeah, not too bad for a 270 grain projectile. And it's quiet. The top of the can is down there. Some of the bottom is right there. There's where it was sitting. And then we have some more over here. Man, this thing just ceased to exist. 
and then behind the target stand we have a big old hole in that railroad tie. Man, I have shot a lot of cans in my day and I've never seen one disintegrate like this and not pop the top, which is so weird. It just vented that pressure so quick. The top didn't even come apart, but there were these teeny shreds of aluminum all over the place. And that is something I've just never seen. And the bottom of the can here took on the texture of that piece of metal that it was sitting on. Crazy. And it's printed into it right through and you can feel it. That is wild stuff. Man 375 Raptor is a beast. Okay, just for science. Got a one inch board, then a four by four, three two by fours, four, five two by fours, and that piece of steel. I don't know if I can perfectly line up a hit that it actually tries to go through all of this, but I know I can try. Well, folks, we have a result. It's a little lower than I wanted on that hit, but it went through there and I know it went through this four by four because we've got a good blowout on the back. We have blown out the back of the 4x4, gone through both of these 2x4s. Entry. Exit. So we're through what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine inches of wood basically so far. And then, yeah, see, we started to get low because this hill goes up. And we hit the bottom of that guy. And I think it basically missed the bottom of the next one. It did touch the steel, I think, from what I heard. Yeah, we missed. Oh, look at that. Cool. So it came through the bottom. It totally tore that apart, chunked through here, and then it was into the dirt. Nice. I'm going to call that one, two, three, two by fours, a four by four, and a one by four. Nice. And for the record, that's a soft point that penetrated all of that. Well, I'm glad I put that steel there because this guy was sitting right on the dirt in front of the steel. That's what it looked like after going through all of that wood and then plunking into the steel at the end. Check this out. <laughs> awesome. It's a hell of a round. There is nothing in North America you cannot confidently hunt with this 375 Raptor accurate and just absolutely utterly devastating downrange thanks for joining me y'all that video got way longer than i expected it to but i had so much fun shooting the 375 raptor out here today what an amazingly capable awesome round that's surprisingly affordable and really easy to find projectiles for whether it's heavy heavy subsonics or awesome hunting supersonics they're out there because people have been making 375 projectiles for 100 whatever years to find out more about 375 Raptor, go to blackcollararms.com slash 375 Raptor. And to find out more about our custom complete pistol builds, rifle builds, barreled actions, integrally suppressed pistols and rifles and all that good stuff, it's blackcollararms.com. Email us at manservant at blackcollararms.com if you have any questions. We hope to see you in our customer role soon. See you next time.